Happy Friday from all of us at the Cambria Regional Chamber of Commerce. We are happy to report that hiking enthusiasts from all over will be descending on Johnstown this weekend. The Keystone Hike Fest is taking place in Johnstown this year with a full weekend of activities, including 25 outdoor recreation activities, six learning sessions, a community expo, and of course, three days of hiking excursions for every level of hiker. The event is brought to the area by the Keystone Trails Association, which describes Johnstown as a hiking oasis. We are happy to cut the ribbon this week on a new location for the Hill Group LLC. They are an education-based law firm specializing in elder law, estate planning, and asset protection. Their new location is on Lighter Drive in Westmont. We wish them continued success in their new home. Check this out. Park Home Furniture and WTAJ hosted Survivor Auditions in Johnstown this week. Super fans turned out in spectacular style in hopes that they have what it takes to be the ultimate survivor. Season 47 will be taping next year. Let's hope a Cambria County resident makes the cut. Big thanks to Suzanne Sackmar, Marketing Manager for Damon Printing, who presented a very informative marketing seminar for the Chamber's Women's Information Network. Suzanne covered marketing basics to boost your business with many great tips to help spark branding and marketing creativity. An open house was held this week for a new walk-in mental health crisis center in Johnstown, which founders say is the first of its kind in Pennsylvania. The REACH Crisis Walk-In Center is a joint project between Knowlton Diagnostics, Breaking the Barriers, and the Cambria County Behavioral Health, it will officially open November 1st. Chris Watkins and his team from Watkins Security hosted the Axis Experience Vehicle to provide an immersive look into the world of advanced security technology. This truly remarkable demonstration looks at the next level of video surveillance and artificial intelligence software now helping to keep businesses, schools, and public venues safe. Pollinator-friendly flowers have been planted along William Penn Avenue in Johnstown's Prospect neighborhood. The project was spearheaded by the Cambria County Planning Commission with support from the Johnstown Redevelopment Authority, Penn State Master Gardeners, and lots of volunteers. Sunday is the last day to purchase tickets for Operation Beautiful's Panic at the Disco Gala. As part of the fun, business and community leaders have been chosen as disco dudes helping to raise funds for the organization, which provides wigs and specialized programming for women battling medically related hair loss. The gala takes place on Saturday, October 28th. And Halloween fun is in full gear. Be sure to check out the Scarecrows in Johnstown Central Park. There are a whopping 33 on display this year. So many creative ones. And Jack is back thanks to the dedicated volunteers from Discover Downtown. You can check out the illuminated boneyard display every night from 6.30 to 9 through Halloween. Some four-legged friends got their Halloween spirit on thanks to Lead Me On Dog Training, Grooming, Daycare, and Resort. They held a week-long spooktacular treat their guests to a fun Halloween photo shoot. Prepare for some spooky sights in Johnstown Saturday. You and Flood City will host its 8th annual Johnstown Zombie Crawl Saturday beginning at Stadium Pub and Grill and then traveling to seven other downtown locations. The Johnstown Area Heritage Association's Halloween Hullabaloo is tonight from 3 to 7 and tomorrow Bottle Works will hold its oh so artsy Halloween party that runs from 3 to 6. Also, a warm chamber welcome this week to The Bistro, a very popular local family-owned business that opened in 1980. Happy to have you on board. Happy Friday. Good News Friday is brought to you by Wessel & Company and First Summit Bank.